I am here to tell you guys what you are doing wrong with your Pet Simulator 99 pet loadout. Most people, when they're playing Pet Simulator 9, try their best to just collect as many huge pets as they possibly can. Oftentimes, people forget that the damage that your huges do, as well as your exclusive pets, are all based off of whatever the highest power pet you own is. For example, if I pull up my zebra pet here, he will do 42% more than the best pet I have. So if I have a broomstick corgi, which is my current best pet, which is 919,000 power, the zebra's going to do 40% more than that pet. Similarly, the dragon fruit pet, which does 95% power compared to my strongest pet, is going to do 95% of the 919,000 power that the corgi has. Now shortly, I'm going to be doing some tests to show you just how much of a damage difference having better pets does for your entire loadout instead of investing a ton of money into expensive huge pets you could instead invest in one singular base pet that will boost the damage of your whole loadout by a ton all right so we're here at the trading plaza right now and we're gonna just check some of the prices of these best pets so currently, the highest power pet in the game you can get with update 4 is the Rainbow Shiny Imp. We'll pull that up. As you can see, there's only 64 of these in existence. The current price of this pet is 11.7 million. While this does say, seem like a lot for a pet that's not even huge and will become obsolete once new eggs come out, this could be an investment depending on how strong of a lineup that you have. Considering this is less expensive than some regular huges, this investment could potentially yield you millions. While I did want to test the Rainbow Shiny Imp, I couldn't find anybody that was selling it as there is only 24 in existence. But for the regular person, this is a more obtainable goal, something you should definitely consider purchasing and make your setup even better. As you can see here, there's 2,500 of these, and I'm sure there's going to be more being opened every day. The price is only going to go down as, as time goes on before the next egg comes out. For the purpose of this video, we'll see if there's any for sale. Like You can see there's one for sale right now. I already have one, so I will not be buying another one. If you have a setup with exclusives as well as huges, you're going to want to make this investment. Well, in this case, it sent me to a booth that was empty. So there's another one for sale. We're going to go check it out. Right now, the price point's at a million. But as more get open, the price is going to go down. So currently, this guy is selling them for 1.5 mil, which, I mean, it's still overpriced compared to the wrap, but it probably still a good investment for many of you who are using lesser pets anyways if you're using the witch cat pet as your best base pet right now this rainbow broomstick corgi is 90,000 power stronger and you will see at the end of the video when i go over the numbers how much of a difference this makes over this so that 1.5 million investment might yield you more than it would be to go out and buy uh, $7 million golden huge hell rock. So it's something to consider for sure. Uh, so we're going to go and do the damage test now just to show you the sheer amount of difference that having each of these pets gives your lineup. So we're going to go over the damage numbers and compare each of these pets to see how much more of a damage increase you get for having these base pets on your roster. While we head over to the top area, I just want to mention that it's important to remember that these damage numbers are going to be different depending on what kind of enchants you have, what kind of pets you like, what level your huge is at. So the damage numbers themselves don't actually matter. What matters is the comparison of those damage numbers to each other rather than the damage numbers themselves. Uh, so it doesn't matter if I have a damage potion going on currently or if I have any enchants. The damage numbers I'm going to show you are based solely off of each other and not off any of the enchantments or other things that may be affecting the damage. Alright, so as you can see, our best base pet now 
is the 794,000 Wizard Westy Rainbow Shiny. So we have Golden Boy here, and we're going to test out how much damage he does with that pet as my base pet. And then we're going to compare the other top four base pets compared to this. As you can see here, he's doing 1.82 trillion damage to each of these boxes. So that's the base damage we're going to go off of for the next three pets that we have to test. So now we have the 8 to 8,000 Broomstick Rainbow Corgi as our base damage pet. So now we're going to see how much damage Golden Boy does to these boxes with that as the base pet. So 2.57 trillion it looks like. So with the Rainbow Corgi, this is the amount of damage it does. So as you could see, with just that small increase in power for the base pet, Golden Boy is actually doing 41% more damage to all these breakables, which is huge. And this is just for my Golden Boy. This could this would be for each of your huges and all of your exotic pets. So pretty much most of your guys' whole lineups would be increased by this one upgrade from the Wizard Westy Rainbow Shiny just to the Broomstick Corgi. Now we're going to go over the Witch Cat Rainbow Shiny, which has a slight increase in power uh, going from 828 to 831,000 power. And we'll see what the difference between those two pets are. All right, as you can see now... Our best base pet is the 831,000 Witch Cat Rainbow Shiny. So only a 3,000 power increase from the previous pet, but we're going to see how much more damage this just does. So as you can see, Golden Boy is now doing 2.65 trillion to each of these boxes. So 2.65 trillion damage represents a 5% increase over the Broomstick Rainbow Corgi but it represents a 46% increase over the Wizard Westy 794,000 power pet. So that's a huge increase. Even the 5% increase between this one and the last pet is still a big increase when you take into account this is the overall damage that your whole setup is doing. All right, so next we move on to the Rainbow Imp, which reps a power of 893,000. So we're going to see how much damage this does to the boxes with Golden Boy. All right, so Golden Boy is doing 3.97 trillion damage to these boxes, which is uh, about 1.3 trillion more than the previous pet. All right, so percentage-wise, 3.97 trillion is 218% more damage than the Rainbow Shiny Wizard Westy. Currently, these Rainbow... Rainbow Imps are selling for around 550. I think I got this one for 560,000 gems. 560,000 gems is not a bad price to increase your overall damage to breakables for your whole team by 218%. All right, finally, my personal best base pet and the second best base pet you can get in the game currently. We have the 919,000 power broomstick rainbow shiny corgi. So I'm going to show you guys how much damage Golden Boy does to these boxes. And then I'll show you the percent difference. So as we can see, Golden Boy is doing 515 trillion damage to each of these boxes. That's representing a 283% increase over the Rainbow Shiny Wizard Westy. That is insane amount of damage difference for something that only cost a million rep. For a seventh of the price of one of these huge rocks, you can increase the damage by your team by... 283 percent and this isn't even the best base pet in the game currently uh as you could see earlier the rainbow shiny imp was the best one and there's only 26 in existence right now so they're about 10 mil which still that would represent over a 500 percent increase for all your exclusives and your huges one strategy i would do if you have something like an imp if you have one of these i would sell it just so you can make the money to buy one of these because that damage difference is no joke it's a 65 percent increase of damage from the broomstick corgi from the rainbow imp so it that that's a big damage increase for something that is only 500 000 gems different 
So if you have two of these, the, the move would just to be sell them and that you could afford one of these and increase your overall damage for all your huges and exclusives by 70%. Over the rainbow shiny witch cat, the rainbow shiny corgi actually does double the damage of this witch cat that's rainbow shiny as well. So that's a big amount of difference and something you should definitely consider investing your gems into. I will put down in the description these damage numbers so you could come back and refer to them uh, when you're looking for some new base pets for your lineup. I hope this video helped you out and you can start doing more damage to the end zone and be able to grind just that much more with such a little investment. If this video did help you, please consider subscribing, like the video, comment down below what surprised you about this information, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.